Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today I just want to cover an apparently massive misconception within the One Piece fan community regarding the circumstances under which Zeph lost his leg. I became aware of this as a result of my 101 video on Sanji where I briefly covered the events of his history, including being marooned with Zeph. I then proceeded to get a slew of comments telling me that I was wrong about how Zeph lost his leg and to not make mistakes and do my research, blah, 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 blah. And for everyone who commented with something like that, I have but one thing to say to you, and that is that I am afraid it is you who is wrong. And this primarily comes down to the fact that the anime and the manga differ radically in their portrayal of this event. So let's break things down by starting with the more child-friendly version of the tale portrayed by the anime. One day, fearsome pirate Red Leg Zeph decided to perform a raid on a cruise ship named the Orbit. And things were going pretty well for Zeph until a fierce storm destroyed both ships and a young boy was swallowed by the sea, exclaiming his dream of one day finding the all blue as his potential final words. Zeph, possessing the same dream, decided to go out of his way to save the blonde haired boy. However, during this attempt, Zeph's leg became caught in some wreckage and in order to save Sanji, and I guess himself really, he wrapped the chains of an anchor around it and was able to sever the leg, rescue Sanji, and etc. We know the rest from there. I'd say this is the version that most fans are familiar with, particularly the Legion of Anime only watchers. And for this group of people, I'd like to proceed to blow your mind with the events that actually occurred in the manga. One day, fearsome pirate Red Leg Zeph decided to perform a raid on a cruise ship named the Orbit. And things were going pretty well for Zeph until a fierce storm destroyed both ships and a young boy was swallowed by the sea, exclaiming his dream of one day finding the all blue as his potential final words. Zeph, possessing the same dream, decided to go out of his way to save the blonde haired boy. During his attempt, he succeeded phenomenally because he was a badass pirate and not foolish enough to allow his limbs to become caught in anything. Thing. However, we now had a new problem to deal with. Marooned on an island with only a pitiful bag of food that would need to last for weeks on end, Zeph made the decision to give all of the food to Sanji like the absolute legend he is. But Zeph would still need some kind of sustenance to keep himself alive, so he took a large, sharp rock and used it to sever his own leg and proceeded to eat it. Pretty gruesome, but you know, it happened. And the reason for the change in the anime telling of the events was confirmed in the SBS of volume 15, and it's pretty much what we all would have expected. A man cutting off his own leg and feasting upon it was deemed as too dark to be shown to a young audience, even though it was considered fine to print these events to a similarly young audience reading the manga. But there you have it. If you're an anime only watcher, I'm sorry, but that's just how it happened in the primary source material. And whenever the event is referenced in one of my videos, I will always default to Oda's material. And yeah, I suppose I could point out these differences whenever a situation like this occurs, but then the videos drift off topic and become a bit too long-winded. In any case, all of this severed leg talk has made me somewhat hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and leave things here. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and if you are in any way inclined to help support this independent channel, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.